Hello everybody, it's Yuji and welcome back to the channel. We are on Hermitcraft today. Wait, bees! Bees! Get out of here, bees! Shoot, that was close. Anyway, we are on Hermitcraft today and if you look behind me, that may look a little bit familiar. Of course it started to rain. If you look behind me, it may look a little bit familiar from the previous video. And yes, I'm flying because we're going to show you that this is the home we picked. This is the base, everybody. I made a few additions just for now. I was just messing around, messing around and, uh, you know, getting, getting all the stuff down in the mine. I made a mine as we were awake for the week. And I made a little staircase coming out of this grand old entrance. And I have been collecting, yep, collecting alabaster for this wall. I think it looks pretty slick. You tell me what you think. I'm just trying out something new. If you guys have some feedback, think I should do something different, just let me know. Because I want to try anything that you guys want to see. Like I said, live through me in Hermitcraft if you guys don't want to play this pack. As always, this is on GrumpyCraft.com. Currently, we're on version 1.3.0. It does get updated frequently, so keep your eyes on that. If you go to the website, you can check and see what version we are on. And feel free to join me anytime. Now, back here, something interesting. When I was getting the walls all finished up, I found a nice dungeon. I didn't get any chest loot because gravel fell down and whatnot, but I found a spider spawner. This is going to be fun. This would be a good way to get string, experience, whatever we need. If you know when we're finished with it, we'll either you know we'll either get some spawner shards to change spawners into something else, or we'll just close it up and uh, forget that it was ever behind there. So yeah, this is the base looking pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool. You let me know. I'm currently trying to get black quartz to outline the staircase and once that's finished i'm going to start working on glass to you know some glass and maybe some more alabaster to finish up the front and the back of this base so then we could start putting some tech in our base now down here remember i said oh this is, this could be a cool cool mine cave well i did exactly that i lit it up so uh you know we don't have any monsters spawning our way but I dug down and man, was I in for a surprise. We found tons of caves that if you ever see a hole like this, it's probably because I found alabaster and I really needed it for my house. Anyway, we found a big old mine shaft and also there's some big caves that way. We also dug down all the way down to wine level 12. That's just my favorite level to go on to get diamonds. So I made a little strip mine just like this. There is tons of hallways. I'm yet to go over on this side, but I did all this. If you look in my map, yes, good old strip mining. And also on my way down here, I found a nice big pool of lava. Yeah, this is gonna help us out whenever we need it. Cause that, what, that's a big pool of lava. Now I really want that quartz. I've been having a hard time finding that quartz, but you know, can't always get it. Most of this is all picked over, so I'm going to go back up to the base. I think we at least need to get some power. You know, again, I always make power and, uh, ah, you know, I, I never have a use for it. You know what? I'm going to teleport back home. Good thing I'm playing on servers is I could just teleport. Okay, back home we go. Yeah, as I was saying, though. I always tend to make power and I never have a reason to use it. I still don't know which way I'm going to go with this mod pack. I haven't decided. So, hey, you know what I'm going to ask you right here. Type them little fingers down below and give me some comments on what I should do. I'm a little confused on this pack. I don't know what to do. But I did see that there are some simple... Well, I got to do the at sign. Uh-oh. I may have crashed. I forgot to tell you all uh, over the past week as I was playing on here, I've been noticing some pretty detrimental bugs when using Optifine and the shaders and whatnot. So I may actually have to take the shaders out if I can't run it without Optifine. I may get a lower grade silver shaders, but uh, apparently even opening up JEI and searching stuff has crashed people with Optifine that I'm finding out. But we are back. It's wow, that is some dreary weather. 
no, that seems to like rain forever on all these servers. It's okay. It's cool, bros. We got this. So, as I was saying, hopefully this doesn't crash us. I hope it doesn't crash us. I did see simple generators. Simple enough, I'm a simple guy, but I want power to run some machines so I can do some, at least some ore processing. I mean, let me show you guys what I have in my chest. If you look in these nice six chests, there are tons, tons of ores. Yes, it may not be as much as I thought, but you know what? It felt like I was doing it forever. So I could go down the normal route and do a Tinker's Contract Smeltery, but you know, I think we could do without a smeltery. I think we can. So let's check other mods out. You know, we're gonna need a smeltery sooner or later to get Tico Tinker's Construct tools, but uh, you know, let's just get the uh, ore processing down first, okay? So, let's look up, uh, we have Furnace, Ender, Culinary, or Lava. Hmm. You know, I think we're gonna go with Furnace, because I can go out with wood, you know, go get wood or whatnot, and, uh, you know, just fill it up if I need a little fix of energy here and there, and let's see how we make this. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, I need this one. So we need four stone, block of redstone, furnace, and three iron ingots. That is easy enough. What? Okay, so if we get this one, what is it? Dragon's Breath. I don't know what that is, but I'll have to look it up because that would be an awesome generator to have. Anyways, regular, let's look at the regular. Three iron, four stone, furnace, block of redstone. We have all the stuff that we need. Uh, you know, let's make, eh, let's make two of them, okay? Sound good? I think it sounds good. Let's find our chests with the furnaces. Okay, two furnaces. I need some stone, I need eight stone, so we're gonna have to burn some off over here. Just get a stack going, because we could always use the stone. Now the other question is, do I have any iron ready? I got two, I need six. I need six! Dang, I thought that was iron for a second. I guess we'll just use Four, and get it all fired up over here. Yes, we will indeed. We're gonna have two generators here. Oh yeah, now I did read on the forums with the simple generators that, uh, you know, it is compatible with, um, it, it says compatible with all the power energy pipes or conduits, whatever you wanna call it. So this is just a perfect solution if we need power in a fix. Come on, furnaces. Ooh, we got eight stone. So we're just waiting on this last iron right here perfect let's get this in the crafting grid you know i'm a big fan of manually crafting sometimes so let's do that one two one two one two two furnaces two blocks of redstone and we now have ourselves fire energy we just got a achievement so one of the plans that i have for this base is that remember that downstairs hallway i think i'm gonna close it off to make the mountain look uh you know look very natural all natural so have you and that way i could make that my storage or my power area so i can hide all of the conduits all of the pipes i'm, I'm gonna go in behind the walls and make everything all nice i could just envision it now we're gonna have like one or two floors some nice windows out of these holes on both sides looking over the water over the forest it's gonna look it's gonna look pretty good so anyway i'm just gonna plop these down just to see what they look like look pretty cool and uh see what kind of rf a tick we can get with some wood if i have well you know what we have some coal from all that mining so let's take a stack of it split it up and see what we can get shall we we shall okay boom what's it doing nothing furnace generator what you doing it took one of the coal. What's the dealio? Oh! Okay, so there must be something broken on this, or it's just not registering in this little bar here, but look up in the top left at that one 
by the way, this doesn't have Wayla on it. If you look up in the top left, that is the the One Probe or TOP for short. Just like Wayla, a little bit more immersive. But look up in there, and we have 64K RF. That seems pretty OP, if you ask me. Holy cow! Uh, I think we just found our new power source for the whole season. Nah, we're, we'll switch it up. I'm, I just want that as a backup power source that will help us immensely. Okay, so we have power. Now what, you guys think? You know, what should we do? Oh, oh not at smelt. Smelt. What can we smelt? We have alloy smelter or a deep resonance smelter. Uh, electric alloy furnace. Energized smelter. Man, I've heard mechanism is so fun, but I'm going to have to read up on it. I'm, I, I'm telling you, I'm going to have to read up on it. What do we need to make this? Some copper, some redstone. Copper, redstone. Oh, that's a decorative block. Three furnaces in one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen. Fourteen. Twenty-one iron. Hmm, do I really want to make that? Let's see here. What does this smelter take? Resonating plate, resonating plate block. How do I make those? By smelting it. Oh, that's pretty cheap. How much is that machine frame there? You know. That's pretty cheap too. You know what, guys? I think we're going to make the deep resonance smelter. Let's try it out. If it sucks, my bad. We'll try something else out. You know, I, I'm all about trying something new in this mod pack because, you know, I do Sky Factory on my other series. Check it out if you want to. Uh, but, you know, that's just your typical let's go bam, bam, bam and get down the line, get all the achievements done, and out we go. That mod pack is going to be pretty quick. Hopefully I get it done by the time Sky Factory 3 comes out. I hope I hope everybody is excited for Sky Factory 3. There's going to be some changes and whatnot. I know Bacon Donut is in the middle of getting everything ready for that, so that'll be pretty cool. Again, while I was mining, while I was mining, I got some of this deep resonance ore, or resonating ore, but it is from deep resonance. Sorry, it's a tongue twister. I'm going to smelt those down, and also I'm going to smelt some more iron down, because that seems to be what we need. We also need a gold for some nuggets. And I believe we need two copper. Do I have two copper? I think I did. No, I have two bronze. Hmm. Okay, two copper. And then we'll just take this iron. I think we have enough in here, but... Oh, that's stone. Ha! Never mind. I'm <laughs> sorry. Let's get some more coal. I have all these furnaces with no coal in them. Oh, wait. There is coal in them. <laughs> Derpin. I am derpin tonight. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let's get all that resonating ore in there. Everything. Okay. Be right back. Okay, everybody. I think we have all the resources that we need to make that smeltery. But I gotta tell you something. I got to tell you something. These things, these little nuggets of joy are oh, game over already. Game over already. What do you mean by that, Huge? Look at this. We're not even through a whole stack of coal, and we have 655,000 RF in each generator. We're going to be about at 2 million RF with a stack of coal. Game over! I'm done. Done! I, I, I'm done. I'm sorry I introduced this to the pack. This seems like total cheat, but now I know. We have backup power. If you guys think that's too cheaty, let me know down below and I will take them out or we'll just use it for backup whenever we need it. So let's look up the smeltery, get the recipe for it. Uh, guys. Hmm. So I did not expect another brick. I was not ready for that. Looks like we're gonna have to go on a journey. Let me put all this stuff in a chest, a little safe chest. All right. You know, I think I'm going to take some extra cobble. That'll help us out just a little bit. And uh, what else do we have here that can help us? I'm going to take this Gracaba jam, whatever that is. 
Uh, I found it in a village when I was looking around here, and uh, it gives you some crazy stuff. I don't know which what this one gives us, but it gives you like two effects when you eat it. And I want to find that village again because apparently there's a villager that makes these jellies, and they're delicious. Okay, let's go to spawn. We're going to have to go on the adventure of a lifetime in this big old portal. Huh. Enter at own risk. I will. I shall. Ooh, look at the nether. So nice. Uh, what do they do this for? Oh, I think they don't want everybody getting all, like, bitten and eaten up. I thought this was an area with no light. I guess shaders brings light to this area? Hmm. I don't know if I like that. But we have to find ourselves another fortress, everybody. I don't know how easy this is going to be because this is very dark. Very, very dark. I don't know if y'all can see that. I cannot see anything. So everybody, I am also thinking I cannot tell you how many freaking crazy mod packs are coming out all of a sudden on 1.10. You know, it looks like Grumpy Craft just started up getting 1.10, and now we have three packs. I so want to play them all. One of the longtime people that I've watched, Direwolf, there's the new Direwolf for 1.10. What do you all think? Let me know. If you think I could handle another Minecraft video on this channel, I will do it. It's fun. Uh, but, you know, I will play different games if anybody wants me to. I love games in general. Looks like we're going to have to go searching. A little searching for some uh, nether bricks here. And we may have to go pretty far. Looking like I'm not seeing any in any distance anywhere in the near future. So, you know, I hate to bore you all. So I'm going to cut this out and find a nether fortress. Oh man, I have been searching for quite some time down here in the nether, everybody. But, uh, you know, I... I think I see that coming up to an end, because if you look on the map, you see this right here? Oh, and right here, looks like we found ourselves another fortress. This is perfect. All I need is two bricks. That's all I want. Honestly, two bricks. I don't want to die. I don't want any crazy treasures. I just want two bricks. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, we need out of here. We need out. No, I don't want to deal with those guys. I hope they're leaving me alone. They leave me alone. All right. I think we got away. I think we got away. That was, I don't know what that was, but that was pretty scary to me. Can I get this? No, I can't. Cobalt and Ardite seem to be very heavily spawned in in this area. There's our nether bricks. I see a chest down there. I said I didn't want treasure, but you know what? I'm going to get that treasure anyway. Oh, oh, good. No mobs. Woo, what is this? Wing charm. Ender bomb, huh? Lava charm. Nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. I'll take the ender bomb. I don't know if we should really have that on the server, but it's okay. Heart container. Potion of health boost. Hmm. Maybe I should scope this out just a little bit. I don't know what y'all think, but I'm going to scope it out just a little bit. See if I can get anything cool. I can't see down here, though. All right, you know what, guys? We got our two nether bricks. Uh, let me take a few more out just in case we need it for something else real quick. Okay, nether. How many do we have now? 14. Okay, we're going to go back home because I don't... What is that? Hello? What is Wing Charm? A magic parachute. Okay, we'll test this out at home. Let's go home, everybody! So how does this parachute thing work? Let's see here. Do I have to wear it? Hmm. It doesn't seem to work. But that uh, fire charm, ooh. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see that? Yeah. This is gonna make the nether so much easier. Ah ha ha. Okay, so apparently the parachute just uh, softens your fall. Your, uh, ooh, I'm gonna climb up. We're gonna climb up to the top of that mountain, everybody.
Well, we'll do that for the ending. Yes. Okay, so let's get this. Let's get this smeltery. Smeltery. A smelter, shall I say. Oh, glad I grabbed more than two because I needed more than two. Okay, let's get making this machine frame. I think we have everything. Maybe not. Oh, you know why? Because I put everything away. Smart guy I am. Because we almost died. Yes, we did. Where did I put it all, though? There it is. Okay. And let's get it all made here. One of those. And uh, I think we could just make it now, right? A smelter. Let's see. Will this just go up next to it? I, th I hope it does. Does it? Yeah. Wow, guys. Uh, we're, we're pretty advanced already, I'd say. Let's let's see what this does. How good it does. Does it do or doubling? That's my biggest question. So we're going to plop some iron on over there into this smelter. We'll put one in there. Maybe. One. What? How do I use this? To use a smelter, you need a tank below it filled with lava. And a tank above it will be filled with RCL. Oh. My gosh. This just got a little more complicated, everybody. We are no longer using that smelter. Uh, I don't want to figure it out right now. I'm just, uh... Meh. Put all this stuff away. We're going to scratch the smelter, guys. Let's see what else we can make. Our handy dandy alloy smelter. I did say this was a lot of iron, though, didn't I? You know what? It is totes, totes worth it, everybody. So let's at least get that working. We got our nuggets, and you know, we really don't have any of the iron ore. Ah, let's get all these furnaces working OT. Yep, we're just gonna split it up. This is a classic, if you need it done fast, split it up between 15 furnaces. While that's smelting, let's see if we need anything else. I need some redstone. I've got my gold nuggets, but I need some redstone. That's going on. And uh, three furnaces. And iron bars. So let's make the furnaces real quick. We need three of them. We might as well make extra, because it seems like we need a lot lately. One, two, three. Keep three. Sorry for the lack of organization right now. I don't think this mod pack has applied energistics, so we're going to have to figure out some fancy schmancy way of getting everything organized. Right now we just don't have it though. I will work in between episodes to get everything sorted out so it looks a little more neater than what it does inside the chest. I think the outside of the chest looks pretty nice, uh, if you're asking me. There's our copper ingot. How much iron do we have? We probably have enough to make between all of them. I think we probably have enough to make it, so let's just get started on this good old alloy smelter. Make the basic capacitor. Okay, check. We got three furnaces, the iron. Now we need the iron bars, at least one round of them. The machine frame is complete. And now we should have our... Oh, no, we got to make the cauldron. Always forget about that. And we have our alloy smelter. We could finally process our ores. I'm probably going to pick out all the ores, put it in a chest, and we can just, uh, you know, pipe it in, pipe it out, and we'll be good to go. So actually, while we're doing that, this is going to be the final thing that we work on in this episode. Uh, you know, I, I think I have a few chests laying around, if I might add. Okay, there's two. Right there, and we don't need a hopper. That's the wonderful thing about Ender I.O. You don't need a hopper. Just wham, bam, go on this configure I.O. And we're going to do pull from the top chest. So that's going to pull it down. And then we're going to just, uh, if you left click and spin, you can, you can adjust the other side. And we're going to do a push. So the bottom one right here is going to push out into here and give us completed ores. Now the true test. 
How good is it going to be? Is it even going to work? Put it in here. It took it all. And it is smelting. This is super, super sweet. Let's see if it ejects ores into here. Okay. It's going to give us a one to one ratio of ores. That's fine for me because I don't have to sit and babysit it. Yes. Okay. We have our ore smelting and we have our OP power. Guys, we got 2 million power. 2 million RF off of one stack of coal. If you are having any problems getting power, now you know where to go. That was a pretty cheap generator to make. All right, everybody, I just cannot, I cannot for the life of me figure out. I can't figure out how to use this charm. Yay, I'm a derp. Yeah, I'm a derp. <laughs> okay, you know what? We're going to try this. I'm going to make this charm work. I don't know if it's going to work, but uh, you know what? Uh, I think, I think, I think we should just jump. We're going to jump. And, oh, see, it works. This is, whoa, that's so cool. We had to take a leap of faith. We took that leap of faith and we punched it in the face. And now we're floating down. And we're going to fly all in our base. Shoulder shrug. Shoulder shrug. I've probably said it a million times in the video. Guys, I do appreciate the support. And I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing the comments and suggestions. So leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the base. Tell me what you think I should do with the base. Give me some feedback. And, uh, you know, you'll be surprised if you say, hey, make that smell tree that you gave up on. I may just try it. I may just try it. Yay! I hang my head in shame. That was cringe. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I look forward to keeping on on Hermitcraft. Also, like I said, we may do Direwolf, or that may just be in future plans. But for sure, we're going to have Sky Factory 2.5 every week and Hermitcraft every week. So if you want to see when those videos are posted... Hit that subscribe button down below. You'll get notified. Leave a like. It helps me know if you like the content. Leave a dislike if you like. And that's fine too. At least I know you're watching. And you're going to tell me why you don't like it. But for now, everybody, I think we're done. Bye-bye.